decided this morning to, to try and rally as many of our colleagues as possible who may be in Abuja uh, to come and commiserate with you. Uh, none of us expected what happened on Friday evening, sir. We've read your own statement and your own condolences to the families of our lost uh, loved ones. But we consider it uh, a duty on our part as your representatives in our various states, also dealing with all the challenges of security, to come with a delegation of governors to pay our condolences uh, and um, commiserate with you on the loss of the Chief of Army staff and our other 10 gallant officers who uh, died in the unfortunate um, air crash in Kaduna on, on Friday evening. Sir. We know this is something that you must feel to the bone marrow. Uh, I recall when I came on behalf of my brother governors to talk to you about uh, the necessity for a change of service chiefs and, and you were very um, you were very calm but very determined that you wanted to get the best set of people and I should reassure my colleagues that work was being done and when you came out with the list everybody was relieved that you had done a thorough search and the military was beginning to feel the impact of the leadership and the morale that has started um, improving in, in the Nigerian Armed Forces. We know that um, this is a major blow, uh, but we also know that you are unrelenting in your commitment to ensuring peace and security in our country. Uh, it's unfortunate the losses we have suffered, we pray to God Almighty that He will grant them eternal rest and give their families the fortitude to bear this uh, unfortunate uh, loss. And our country, uh, yet another resolve to continue along the path that Lieutenant General Atairo and his colleague have already started towing. Because for us, we must defeat banditry, we must defeat insurgency, we must defeat criminality in all of its ramifications. That is the mandate you've given them, and that's what they've been pursuing, and um, we believe that this should not lead to any retreat or surrendering on our part. But as you have also promised, sir, we know that our country will do everything within the powers of your office, and the resources available to us to ensure that the families of those that we have lost are protected and are, 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 are taken care of. You've already made that pledge and we know you that you are a person of your words because it's important for those who are still on the field to see that the way the families of those who have been lost are treated is an indication of how protected they would be. Uh, and this is the message you've already sent out uh, to the families yourself uh, in your conversation with the wife of General Atairu and uh, in the message sent to the remaining family members of the uh, departed uh, officers. So that's why we're here on behalf of the Nigerian Governors Forum, sir. This is uh, a situation that the uh only God knows when it will happen and it happened. And uh, it happened at a time when uh, the security situation in the country is a fundamental issue. Uh, and to lose such a choice officers just increase our problem. But, um, we know what we are in for, and uh, we will continue to work hard and pray hard uh, so that God will give us uh, 
with your power to appreciate and apply ourselves to the problems. Uh, uh, the people who elected us, uh, they know the promises we made. These are the times they are the circumstances under which we find ourselves uh, we will keep on trying you know what we have promised even the time limitation and resources we continue to do our best. <laughs>